Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of the Franchise Midweek Service. It promises to be an amazing time in God's presence and um, with my brother here, Joshua, and I trust that um, you've had an amazing week. It's been, you know, um, an amazing week all through from Sunday, as Pastor declared over us that it's lit season for us. And um, today, as we're gathered, I trust that um, the Lord would, you know, bless our hearts and um, we'll keep in the light of what has been spoken over us. Um, Joshua, do you want to quickly say a word of prayer as we start? Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Um, our Father and our God, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy that endures forever. Thank, thank you, Lord. For love. Thank you for how you helped us. Thank you for helping us to stay and abide by the word. Thank you because we know that these words are going to profit us. We will do well with it and we declare that we come into the realization and the understanding of this season in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for, um, for the prayer. And again, I want to welcome everybody watching us from all over. Um, thank you for tuning in. You know, it's such a joy to always fellowship with, um, with one another. I'm fellowship here with my brother right now. Yeah. And, you know, the Bible makes us to understand that we're two or three are yeah, yeah. gathered. Yeah. Guess what? We're more than two because we also have, you know, our media team right behind as well. Yeah. So we're about three, four right yeah. now. And, um, you know, we're fellowshipping with each other and with God. Promises to be a great time. And, you know, just to prepare your minds, take your notepads, um, take away everything that can be a distraction yeah. whatsoever. You want to go to a secluded area, yeah. you know, just make sure that um, nothing robs you off of the blessing yeah. that will be unleashed in today's meeting upon every one of us. It's our leaf yeah. season. And, you know, in order to participate and make sure that you're key into the season, um, you must make sure that your art is right and your positioning is good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. So, you know, Pastor started um, on Sunday with um happy new month by the way again yeah, yeah, so pastor started on sunday yeah. and um declared over us that um it's a leap season yeah. for the month of um, april and even beyond yeah. right and it was such an amazing sunday i'm sure you were blessed i'm yeah, sure yeah, yeah. everyone if you haven't seen the that um service yeah. you should go and see it absolutely um highly recommend you know the dynamics in which pastor taught, taught us on sunday was really phenomenal i know like Pastor would always say, he likes to teach from the Old Testament to the New Testament, right from creation, you know, to the new creation as well. So it it's such an amazing message. You should see it on our YouTube platform. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, before we go further, kindly help us with um, our anchor scripture for the season, Malachi 4, verse 2. All right. I, would, I would want you to please read from the ESV the version. version. Yeah, All right. Please. Malachi 4. Verse 2, and it says, But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like cows from the stall. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, the part that says, You shall go out leaping, leaping like out. cows. I pray that um, in this season, for every one of us in our families, that is going to be our testimony. Amen. We shall indeed go out leaping like cows amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, amen. 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 Um, Joshua, do you want to quickly do an exposition of some of the things that uh, you learned on Sunday from either the scripture or generally? I want us to take it um, um, in a sequence, right? But just okay. for this scripture, um, what was that thing that, you know, Pastor shared on the scripture that um you know right from even friday i'm sure you joined prayers on friday yeah, so one of, one of the things that um <clears throat> that stood out for me was the fact that um the season like pastor declared as pastor is not one who, who slams season on us like you know absolutely that, but the emphasis of this prayer was just leap you know, leap, 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 and pastor started by defining what it means to me yeah and you know like pastor would um and as it should be is that um it always starts from the beginning. Yes, absolutely. You know, and um, Pastor started by saying that in the beginning, Adam had all it takes or all it took to be able to discern things, to be able to know things as they were. Absolutely. You understand? And um, 
for, so moving so leaping is like you're, you're moving from a particular place to another place but not with the normal like baby steps like a substantial amount of steps it's like a geometric Jonathan. progression and i remember you know the story of joseph you know the steps he had to take to get to the prison but he had to take him greater steps massive, of massive, massive steps massive. to move from the prison to um to the palace absolutely so you know it's 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 a great call and one of the things i felt you know right from sunday even till now was the fact that it is good or like had like like pastor would say like we should be able to discern things we should be able to discern time because it is one thing to hear that we are in a leap season and there's another thing to actually know and believe that we are actually in in that season, that season. do you understand absolutely so, you know uh one of the things that i would just encourage and i would you know want us to know or believe is to know that we are actually in a leap season we are actually in a season where god has designed and proposed that we should move like a quantum move do you understand and you know for i've heard you know <clears throat> i've heard people saying ah like do you mean you're going to jump process you know pastor said something that really struck or resonated with me he said we might or we have gotten so used to process that we find it hard believe it, to yes. believe that these things are real or these things are there for us for our benefit absolutely for us you know and um i think it's just it's it's um it's needed because if it is not needed god will make provision for mm-hmm. it. do you understand and so yeah i think those are just some of the things i for now you know we just love to share. absolutely thank thank you so much joshua i mean yeah. you know if you also then take it from you know the scripture the anchor scripture that yeah. says that um, um the ending part that talks yeah. about um that um, will leave leave like, like cows from the store exactly another translation says well fed cows and you know i, I did a quick study as well after sunday yeah. um, <clears throat> and looked at it why the dimension calves right yeah. and it's important to note that it is at a pivotal time in their life that they live yeah, yeah. that's a giant so that's the time they want to yeah. start work and um, start working yeah. that's the time when they want to take that major step that yeah. first step you know people will say that um, the first step a baby makes that's the most important step. Yeah. That's giant because from crawling to walking, it's the dynamics yeah, is a lot. you know, is a lot. So yeah. you know, and that's what God is declaring over us in this season yeah. that we are taking mm. immeasurable amount of progress, yeah. your, uh, amount of steps. Rather, you know, we are experiencing immeasurable um, amount of progress in our lives, yeah. in our families. You know, mm. uh, things that would normally take us. That, that it's supposed to take 10, 20 years. Yeah. You know, somebody would say things like, in order for me to get a promotion at my job, mm. you need to have worked in a place for about 10 yeah. to 15 years, yeah. you know, yeah. for certain things. Mm. But what God is saying in this season is that protocols are going to be broken yeah. for you. You are taking that major stride. For mm. some persons, it is uh, moving from a job to another job. For some mm. persons, it is moving from being single to being married. Yeah. For some persons, you are even changing career paths yeah. completely. You know, it's that major stride, that major step. That's what God is declaring to mm. us in this season, just as, as um, Pastor has declared over us that yeah. we are making extraordinary move, a leap, and that's what a leap is. Yeah. It's an extraordinary booth. It's like, you know, and I, I've seen it happen before, right? Because I spent a lot of time with my um, siblings when they initially got married. And I remember the joy from my sisters when the child, when their children mm. take that their first step, you know, in, in Yoruba, they'll yeah. say it's like, ah, oh, Timi, me, oh, Timi. Me. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, yeah, it's, it's not working. Job, yeah. They start joy. And that's what it is for you, yeah. right? You know, you are leaping. It's, it's a joyful moment for yeah. you. It's a it's a phenomenal move for you. You know, it's mm. it's something that everybody would be would would see and know that you know oh, this is God. Life. You know, everybody's going, ah, he made a major progress mm. in in um in 2024. Like like I like I've been declaring my, over myself since um, the beginning of the year that all my life compressed together will not be compared with the progress. The progress I've made all my life. Is not going to be compared with the progress that I'm going to make only yeah. in this year, yeah. you know. And I and I want that as well to to be our declaration mm. that more than ever before you are making extraordinary um, move, 
extraordinary growth. That's yeah. what you are experiencing. Mm -hmm. And even beyond um, our jobs, our um, relationship status, yeah. um, it goes to areas like even our spiritual, spiritual life. In, in fact, it actually starts from there. It's supposed to stem from there. Um, we are experiencing supernatural knowledge and we already we already have the benefits of that in the franchise church yeah you know every sunday every workers meeting god blesses us with such important um direction yeah. for for our lives and it's been phenomenal right it's been brilliant what god is doing even in our spiritual life we're able personally in my life i've been able to pray very early in the morning mm. in this year and mm. I, it's not something that um I've been used to, you know, since we all left yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, growing up at home. You know, mm -hmm. at home when you were when we were much younger, mm -hmm. you don't have you didn't have a choice. Yeah. You just needed to participate in the morning prayers, oh, yeah, morning even though you home. might be sleeping, you yes, might be doing. Yeah. Up, you just had to be there. You know, they will wake you up, yeah. tap you up. You were sleeping, mm -hmm. but now, you know, I'm a grown up adult and yeah. I'm able to, you know take my life more seriously. I'm able to pray very early in the morning. And I don't know if it's just me, but you see, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the best yeah. time, best yeah, time to sleep. Yeah. When your room is cold, everything, yeah, you, yeah, wake you wake up and you just time. want to start. You want to change the gear of the sleep you know that's just the small, best time that's and that's when i've now you know uh de dedicated as my you know yeah. praying time and yeah. stuff and for me that's a giant stride that's a very yeah. big move like yeah. in my spiritual life earlier this year i made this decision as well to you know read the bible from start to finish you know with more intentionally uh, intentionality so that's really what it is it's not just you know in yeah. certain areas of our life in fact it stems from okay. our spiritual life you know like pastor would say there's no spiritual life um there's just one life do you understand and then there are expressions okay. of it in every way so um in with our walk with god if you would allow me to say it stems from there and um we need to also be intentional in this season if god has declared over you something yeah. I, I give an example. Let's say at your place of work, you used to be at um, maybe um, assistant manager or something. Yeah. And your boss comes and says, okay, no, you're no longer a manager. Uh, you're no longer an assistant manager. You're now a director. Automatically, that's a declaration from your boss, yeah. right? Automatically means that you need to change office. Yeah. You need to change yeah, certain no, things. Yes. Your um, job description automatically di differs. Uh, yeah. The people you will be interacting with differs. Like the people you'll be passing yeah. information to. Notice I didn't say assistant manager yeah. to manager. I said to a, to a director. That's a leap. So automatically, when a word is declared over us like that, we ought, we also need to key into it yeah. by what? Changing our mode of operation. If God has declared over us that it's leap season, for us in every area of our lives, it means that well, we also need to change our idea of where we are yeah. and see God in the light of where he's taking us to, mm -hmm. you know, and see ourselves rather yeah. in the light of where God is taking us to and where God um, is moving us to. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that pastor said that was also very important on Sunday was, um, he had also declared it on Friday that uh, when a leap is needed, shiftings take place. Mm, yeah. And I begin, to, and I, before I ask you what you know, what that meant to you, I began to think about it. You know, mm. a leap, shifting, and here's one thing that um, that that came to mind is the fact that because that that um, that leap is not ordinary. I'm using a job scenario now because it is not an ordinary move, right? There are certain persons that needs to shift away. From the position that you're about to move into if let's say you're moving from a place in house to another house let's even use the concept of rent let's say you're moving from a particular flat to another flat somebody needs to move out of the apartment you're going into yeah for you to move into it do you understand so there's going to be shiftings and that thing that pastor said when it when a leap is um is needed shiftings what shiftings take place and i declare over every one of us over everyone listening to me in the name of jesus that necessary shiftings are taking place in your life mm -hmm. 
in the name of Jesus in every area of your life. People that needs to connect with you, people that needs to um, come in contact with you in this season, they find you in the name of Jesus. You are not unreachable in the name of Jesus. You are reachable in this season. I decree and declare over everyone listening to me right now in the name of Jesus, that necessary shiftings take place in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. And I remember the story of one of our fathers in the faith, um, Dada Deboi, he he gave this example. Um, It's one of, one one testimony I love so much. I I usually, if you know me very well, you must have heard me say this testimony. Uh, So a, a, a young man had come to meet him in his office and said, oh, daddy, I'm going for an interview and um, I want you to pray for me. So uh, I want you to just say a word for me. Mm-hmm. And you know, that they wanted to start to pray for him. And he said, no, 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 that he doesn't want him to pray. He just wants him to declare a word. Notice a word, and we've, it's been declared over us in this season that it's a leap season for us. Yeah. So how you take the word that is being declared over you, right, matters in this season. Do you actually believe it? Just about Joshua was saying earlier, do you actually believe in it? Anyway, back to my story. So he said he didn't want daddy to pray by him. He just wanted daddy to declare a word on him. And daddy said, okay, no worry. The job will go in your favor. Then he went. When he got to the job, it wasn't even like an interview. When he got for the, went for the interview, it wasn't like an interview. It was just like a conversation. They just asked him, oh, how much did you want to earn and stuff? And, you know, he said it and, you know, they gave him the job. And he went back and he said, uh, he went to meet um, daddy boy and said that, ah, sir, the interview went well. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. You know, that everyone wanted to pray again. He said, no, daddy, don't pray. Just declare a word over me. You know, and they gave him a week to resume office. So he went back the following week and they said, ah, that um, the assistant director or assistant manager of something of his role, um, of a role, resigned recently. No, no, uh, the, he was supposed to be the assistant. Then the manager resigned recently. And um, these, they have seen from his qualifications that he fits for the job, that would he be willing to take it? And lo and behold, they gave him, he became manager on his first day mm-hmm. of um, resuming work. Oh. He went back again to the other way and said, that, Ah, daddy, this is what happened. Though. He wanted to pray again. He said, Daddy said, um, uh, He said, No, daddy, don't pray. Just declare a word. I can't remember what the word was. He declared another word again. He went back. And the following week, they said they found out why the person left, that he has gone to a competitor company and they don't want him to leave. So the benefits that that person is getting in the place he went to, that's what they will be giving, <laughs> giving him in his new role, which was not the role he initially yeah, applied for. And you know, he went back again to me that the boy, and that I wanted to pray. He said, No, that's give me that's another boy. And I said, What do you want? You want me to give the company <laughs> to, you. to you? Do you understand? And, you know, that was where he ended, you know, the story and stuff. But why did I say this? For liftings and um, for um for a leap, yeah, to take place, right? Shiftings yeah. take place, right? Yeah. And you can see it in in that in this scenario, somebody had to leave you know, their job. It's not about demoting somebody else. No, the person got a better job and went somewhere else. Yeah. It doesn't, don't always think that, you know, it's very funny people think that for you to experience your own progress, Some somebody's, yes, yeah, so, no, no, no. Somebody doesn't need to go down. Somebody might also go up, but then there's a there's a shifting taking place. And that's what that's what is happening in this season. That's what Pastor has declared over us, that over you, over our lives, over everything um, that we are doing, um, protocols are broken for you. Yeah. Shiftings are taking place. And that's what we're going to experience in this season like never before. Um, do you want to share something quickly on that? Okay. Um, so while you were talking, because yes. I just have to just you know, check my spirit and all. So I, 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 the story of the woman Zafa came to me yeah. first. And then I remember when some of the declarations start. Absolutely. On Sunday. Yes. And I remembered something the pastor said. The reason why I can remember is because he resonates well with me. Absolutely. And because I see truth in it. So, um, like you said, shifting. You know, it can be very funny. Because for you, your own lip season just requires somebody else coming to join your company. Mm. Mm. It necessarily does not mean 
you have to give up what you have. Absolutely. It just means that somebody with an added value yes. comes to you. Yes. And then you would think, oh, maybe because this person, maybe they just have to sack him from his job. Yeah, I think that's also gave yeah, an example just like think, that. Oh, because Absolutely. they sacked him from his job, you yes. are helping him. Mm. And then this guy comes with ideas that are way, way, you know. And then you just think, and I'm doing him a favor. Mm. Do you understand? But you do not realize that he's still shifting. Yes, yes, yes. But has to shift him from where it's he was. It's a To your place. Yes. And then you, you discover that your company is making probably returns of maybe 4 million in, in a year. Turns to like 20 million. And I'm wondering, oh, and I have Timo. Hmm. Because, you know, there's there's always this, um, there's always this idea that we, our prayers or our self-righteousness yeah. is what brings this thing to pass. Hmm. But we forget the place of the Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit. And sometimes when we hear, oh, the Holy Spirit, we think it just requires only during service. Yeah. But we forget that in technology, in health, in literally every aspect of life. Absolutely. It's involved. So I'm moving a little bit because I'm trying to make a point. Yes. So the point I'm trying to make is you are not you are not called or you are not you are not who you are by where you are present. Yes. But as God has called you. Yes, yes. Because if you look at Gideon, Gideon was from the least tribe, the least person in his tribe. Absolutely. In the least tribe in all of Israel. Yes. Do you understand? And I think the when, least when tribe, it, the yeah, least clan, clan, and he was also the least person in his family. Yeah. So you are wondering when, when so when the angel came and called him man, oh, that great man of valor. The mighty man of valor. It doesn't make sense. You can't. You can't. He, call he's wondering why would you call me that? You know where I'm from. You know who I am. You know even you know the whole of Israel. I am from the least you know tribe and all of that. But where you are is not who you are supposed to be. What or, or, or what you're supposed to be is who God has called you. Yes. So your when when a word is being declared or when a word, a word is being spoken over you, it doesn't need to make sense at first. Yeah. All you need to do is just key into by it. faith. Yes. Key into it. Yes. And then you realize that shiftings take place. You know. Okay. Let me let me just put this out there because we are saying shifting, shifting, shifting. Some people, some people think this has to happen tomorrow. Mm. Just it's a problem. Just the shifting may just be okay. Uh, like I said earlier, someone just has to leave his job and come over to your place, and then from there, you move. Shifting of the mind. Shifting of the mind. You find it hard to pray. You're finding that, like, you are on the verge of giving up on Christianity. Mm. You are, when you leave, you are, you are rejuvenated. You are, you Absolutely. are rekindled. Yes. Do you understand? That's a shift. Mm. Like, that's you taking a massive leap from going to someone who is about to die mm. to gaining life. Mm. So, it, it, it appears in all aspects or in all areas of our life. Absolutely. Not just necessarily in gaining more money. As much as we love to gain more money, as much as we love to want to make more expand money, and stuff. we also need to shift in our mind. Yes. We also need to expand. We also need to, you know, to understand that God works in mysterious ways. Yep. And it, you know, as, you know, seasons upon seasons, you know, seasons upon seasons, you know, and like, okay, let me use the story of the woman of the refer. You know, but Peter explained it in such a way, I was like, oh, well, this is this is a lot. Okay, let me, he said, you know, why she still had a lot? Elijah was being taken care of. Yes, absolutely. The raven was still bringing food. The mm-hmm. brooks were still, you know, bringing out water. And it could have continued. It could have continued. Because someone has started it. Yes. Do, you think, do you think he does not have the power to continue it? Absolutely. Do you get So, but when she was on her last, hmm. was when the brooks dried up. And then the raven stopped. And then... Called her, feed this person. I'm wondering with my last. Mm. But she obeyed. And then she did, and then he did not, like, it kept on flowing and flowing and flowing. So, two things here for the prophet and also for the woman as well. Both of them. Both of them. Both parties. So, you need to understand that even if you think you're on your last, mm. or you think this is all that, you know, all that it is, like, you are, you are, you, it doesn't make sense anymore. You're, you, you're about losing your job, or you're about losing it yourself. It's at this point that God wants to prove himself. It's at this point that God wants to help. You know, like like my dad would always say, God, God is attracted to weak people. Mm, yeah, I think there's a way Pastor too also says it. Um, it's as if the more terrible you are. Yeah, the more interesting. Yeah, that pastor, so God, God, God. If I want God to actually, begin to curse yeah. somebody, curse somebody out, <laughs> that's when God yeah. is very interested. God is attracted Absolutely. to weak people. And when weak people are not saying like, 
body frame week. Yes. But what I'm trying to say is, you accept the fact that you can't do it yourself. You can't do anything you at can't all. Do anything Either it's be it prayers, be it um, your job. Trust me. Whatever it is. Yes. So you know, it's at that point that you discover that God is attracted to it. Absolutely. He wants you at that that your so-called weakest point mm. that you think it doesn't make sense. He can't help you. He like nobody can. Nobody around you is seen it. You know. It's at that point that I want you to know that I'm, I'm here. It's at this point I want to show you that I am actually involved in every area of your life. Uh, and I, I really want to before before you continue. Yeah. Like I really want to um, say something as to one of the things that you said. You right, know, yeah. um, with the widow. Um, yeah. Example. Yeah. She came to meet him, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, so sorry. He, he went to yeah, meet yeah, her, yeah. right? And I think it's also very, very important for us to be sensitive. Yes. About um, yeah, to people. Discern, yes. Yeah. To be able to discern yes. people yes. who come to you part time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is why, also as believers, our our posture, our attitude ourselves needs to be in check. Yeah. You know, God will send some persons mm-hmm. to you sometimes, mm-hmm. and you already, maybe you already even fought, <laughs> fought with yeah. them. Do you understand? Yeah. And you also need to play your own part by making sure that, you know, the Bible says that if it is, I'm paraphrasing now, if it is by your own doing, mm-hmm. make sure that you are at peace with all men. Because at the end of the day, whenever a leap is about to happen, God is going to send somebody. Yes. We can see that with the story of the of the woman of um, um um, with, yeah, you know, the widow. Yeah. You can also see that with um, Joseph, yes. you know, which was one of the examples yes, I saw. Yes, yes, it was yes, somebody yes. he knew <clears throat> in, yeah, in, in prison. prison. So it's important. If yeah. he had been a very terrible, terrible person, person to that person, we have been pr- proud. I, I don't know if you get yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to say. So, all through scripture, we can see it that at different points in times, so when God wanted to raise somebody, he used somebody else. So we ourselves must play our part as believers, you know, mm. um, to to be kind to people, to mm. be receptive of people. Yeah. And also, it is important to know that people might not look like what they, what what, they what, are yeah, bringing to the yeah, table, yes, yes. right? Yes. You know, I, I, I'm not there, but you don't know how Elijah was looking, the prophet that was hungry. <laughs> yeah. Do you True. understand? You don't know how he was That's looking. Right. <laughs> Look at the distance, he must have, he might have been dusty, he might not have yeah, looked at it. Yeah. And he's telling me to do this. And you know, she obeyed. So it is it is important as believers as well. We must grow our sensitivity in the spirit to know, you know, seasons, yeah. right? To yeah. know people that God sends to us, yeah. you know, to be able to realize that, oh, this person is in my life, you know, for such a time as this. Yeah. Do you understand? So I just wanted to 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 chip that in before mm-hmm. before you continue. Okay, so just to you know, just to run all the things I was saying, you know, I just feel strongly in my spirit that um, you know, for some of us, we have we might have issues with, like you were saying, our personality. Yes. Or we might have issues with the things that we've done, or the place that we're in. You know, <clears throat> and I don't think anybody's exempted. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Bless you. I myself recently was at that spot. Thank God for friends. Mm. Thank God for people who just had to reassure me of <coughs> reassure me of the things that thank you that um that are very or the things that I am supposed to, you know, I should have known. You know, because I feel so strongly that some people feel, oh, to can I leap with the things I've done? Mm. Or can I leap with do they are saying leap, 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 leap? I don't pray for. Mm. I don't study as they should. Mm. I don't. Um, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not so serious in code as I should be with God. Mm. But you know, um, it's it's not it's not about what you are doing. It's about how much you can embrace the love that is being shared, Absolutely. or how much you can embrace the things that are being said. Because it's through the word also that we are going to be delivered. Yes. And you know, faith comes by hearing and reassuring over and over, again. over and over and over again. So it's not too late. It's just the beginning. Absolutely. You know, and my my Bible, what's it called? Bible app just popped up yesterday. Oh, it's 100 days into the year already. I'm like, oh, wow, 100 days? Wow, mm-hmm. that's... It looks like it's, it almost takes one month. Do you understand? Because the amount of things that has been compressed in even this 100 days. Yes, absolutely. It shows that absolutely. Too, too absolutely. Much to come. Yeah. So you, I can't be downcast because of the things I am going through, or the things that I, you know, have gone through, and think, oh, this people are just saying yes. We're not just saying it. 
it's, it's something that we're declaring. It's the word of the right? Lord. That we are declaring. Yeah, it's the word of the Lord that we're declaring. Lord. Absolutely. Do you understand? So I just, I just, I just want to just, you know, put this there that the Lord is involved. Yes. And He wants you to know that at every point and at every step. And I mean, you know, sh- starting from um, some of the things that is sh- is shared today, is the fact that when you are leaping, uh, you are doing so. If a word has been spoken, yeah. Um, the story of the of the man by the gate, yeah. You know, and the Bible records that he leaped right and began yeah, to walk. Yes, yes. Um, if you remember carefully. Um, the Bible says that what they spoke to him. Yes. They said, "Silver and gold, I do not know, have." For all that we have, do you understand? You to rise and, up, and rise up, and they yeah. drew him up. You know, but he heard the word yeah. "rise up," yeah. and he did also rise. Right. And that is the word that has been spoken yeah. over us. Yeah. You have heard the word "leap." It's your leap season. Yes. You so to begin to leap. Yes. Sometimes, right? I, I believe so much in putting things into like a graphic image. Yeah. For example, if this is our leap season, try by actually physically leap. Yeah, Leaping. it works. I like, I do it all the time. Leaping, yeah. so just you know, jump. <laughs> put it, exactly, put the word yeah. into practice. If you want to, uh, maybe you are walking, just try and jump. And then, oh, this is what God, it's, the word of God will come to life. Come to like, life. you'll be able to see it. The word has spread yes, life. exactly. Yeah. You, you'll be able to see the tangibility of what is being said. Yeah. Oh, so it's our lip season. Mm-hmm. So let me try as much as possible. Yeah. When I'm supposed to take certain steps, maybe I'm supposed to walk to a place, mm. I'll just decide to leave. Hmm. You know, the Bible sa- says, uh, um, um, David saying that um, um, we're able to leap over what? Um, leap over walls. walls yeah. what's, what's that scripture that says that um, um, we're able to leap over walls, right? Um, yeah. the, the, the soldiers talking about this thing, and I was reading about it, and it's important to understand that these are not a, um, these not they are not leaping over yeah. a gutter. They're talking about mm-hmm. like real actual walls. <laughs> Do you understand? To be able to move past it, these are things that normally mm-hmm. it would have been impossible okay. to do, right? So put the word um, in practical um, sense, you know, be able to practicalize the word, you know, put into practice the word that is being spoken. It's our leap season and you begin to leap in every area of, of every area of, of my life. You mm. know, write it down. What does it mean to leap in my career? Mm. What does it leap to me to leap um, in my family? What does it mean to leap in um, uh, among my friends? Yeah. Jealous yeah. with my friends. What does it mean to leap in every area? Yeah. What does it mean to leap in my relationship? Yeah. Do you understand? Are you in that relationship that has been going on for for um, three years and you're wondering when is he going to propose? Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. Do you understand? When are you going to yeah, go? Yeah. Is he even serious at all? Leaping for you mm. is out of nowhere. He just proposes. Or for somebody that is just even in a friendship yeah. with somebody and the person just tells you, oh, he's serious now. Do you understand? That might be leaping for somebody else. So put it into word. What does leaping mean for for me? And you know it's so important that um, this season is a year of leaping because um, towards the, towards late last month, right? There's been a project that I've been that I've been working on. Okay. Two things actually for you know a company that I'm trying to to mm-hmm. start, and um, the other one is also an initiative that I'm also trying to you know to push out and mm-hmm. stuff. And believe me, everybody that I've spoken to about this project, any of the two. They just want to key into it. <laughs> a- anybody, like I've never spoken to one person that I've said that um, they're not interested. Yeah, it is, oh, okay, when do you want us to start? Mm-hmm. How can I come in? You know, they're already even giving me yeah. ideas. Mm-hmm. And, you know, recently I was giving um, some, a form to fill because, you know, you have to do a lot of registrations yeah. to, put into, to put things into place. And, you know, they gave me a form to fill and I looked at it. And you know, I got overwhelmed. Then I remembered the word that, that pastor spoke about us on Sunday. I mean, this was just on Monday. Yeah, you know, yeah. they gave me a form to fill and I was looking at the requirements to start up this thing. I was like, ah, Omo. You know, at, I was just really overwhelmed with the whole thing. And then I remembered the word that has been spoken to us that, okay, it's our leap season. You know, things are going smooth for me. You know, um, I'm not going to struggle. Yeah. In this season, I'm not going to struggle. Protocols. Yeah are broken for me. Every help that I need, I'm going yeah. to find. I'm not struggling. I find, I, I do things with ease. 
Do you understand? I'm not struggling at all. So th- those were the words that I've been the, that I've been describing. Mind, when we're praying on Friday, I just kept writing. As we're praying, my phone was with me. Some persons might have even thought that maybe I was typing on my maybe just chatting or so. But I, w- I just kept writing the words that Pastor was declaring. You know, I just kept declaring as well that um, um, so, some of the things that Pastor declared on Sunday coming were um, the former things I joke in comparison with what is coming. Mm. And I'm like, wow, the former things, the things that I've experienced before, mm. right? It, last month, l- last month, okay. even the things that I've, I'm not joking when I say the things I've experienced this year, like I've, I, I don't really turn the opportunities like that. <laughs> but was it even last month? Was it last month? I'm trying to think. I think it was early this, this month, actually, that, I, uh, that I, um, I got to, yeah, it was early this month. In fact, last week, yeah, it was last week that I turned down um, a, a, a project that I was supposed to work on that was supposed to give me money just because, you know, I considered peace of mind. Me, normally before. <laughs> turned down an opportunity to make money. And for me, that's a major leap, you know, that I'm able to consider myself over what I'm yeah, about to, yeah, to make. Yeah. Do you understand? That I'm able to turn down opportunities, you know, and pastor has often said before that sometimes um, being able to say no, um, um, being able to be, being demoted sometimes is is um, I, I just pastor used to say it is it's part of the process. Yeah, yeah. it's not um, it's, not, a, um, it's not only yeah. God God did it. It's not only when things go upward. Yeah. Sometimes it takes. Do you understand? And oh. you know um, John John fifteen talks about what you pruning. Is it John 15 that talks about pruning? Yeah, um, when, yeah, yeah. Either they don't bear fruit. Exactly. Cuts down. And even the ones that he, he that bears fruit, he, 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 he trims uh, exactly so that he can what he can bear, bear more fruit. More fruit. Yeah. So you know it's part of the process, and that's a leap for me, being able to turn down an opportunity. You know, and I'm thankful for mm. um, the the opportunity to to be in, in the franchise church in this moment, yeah. to have this word over <laughs> us, over our family. It's it's really been amazing. Yeah, you know, um, while while okay. you were talking and I was trying to surf through my phone, so one of the scriptures that I've been looking for, I yeah. just had to just I was trying to you know to get for the scripture to get it, and that's Psalm chapter eighty nine, yeah. verse sixteen, the TPT. Psalm eighty nine. Psalm eighty nine, verse sixteen, and it says, "We can do nothing but leap for joy." Hallelujah! I, I think I saw that. For we know who you are hmm. and what you do. Psalm eighty nine, verse verse sixteen, and you have exalted us on it. Hallelujah. You know, and all I was, all I was, all I was checking for it, I was like, what? This is, this is, this is, this is a lot. He said, we can do nothing but live for joy. Yes. All day long. For we know who you are and what you do and you've exalted us tonight. So you, this is, this is, this is the same. He, he, he esteems the word. So once the word has gone forth and it has been spoken, what I do every day is just to live for joy. Hallelujah. And, you know, it's, just, it's just joy. Hallelujah. It's just joy because, you know, this, that's how I was, if I, why, 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 that was what I said earlier, that once you are able to discern, yes. as the word has been spoken, you come into it. Yes. Do you understand? So once, once it comes forth, you just know, yes, I'm leaping. Whether, whether I see it right now or not, I just know I'm leaping. Just like the man that, that you know, began to walk in the it just, it just, that's just it. So it's not, it's, 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 it, it. for me, I've just been happy since Monday. When I go, I was why are you just laughing? I don't know, but I want to laugh and I want to play. Because it has been declared. And I have no choice. I like, I have to. And like I said earlier, for some of us, it has to come by <clears throat> hearing and hearing and hearing. No, for, you know, I don't even think it's for, for like, some Like, I think of for it. all of us. Yes, yes. You, you know, know, faith just has to come by hearing and hearing and hearing of the word. You need to keep yourself you to just keep hearing us, yes. the same thing yes, yes, over, over that over affirms over. Yes. the season that you are in, yes. right? I was saying something, giving an illustration about, you know, if you're moved from being an assistant manager to, to being a director, yeah. your environment has to change. The mm. kind of words that you'll be speaking, Kind of people you with. Yes, it's different. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not even you trying. It's, it's just, just different. Yes. yes. Do you understand? Yeah. It is people like it's the managers that will be reporting to you. Yeah. You might not be relating yeah, with assistant managers. Yeah. It's a both of us now. 
we, we look like normal person. Yes. But imagine I have an appointment with the president by 10 a.m. Hmm. Tomorrow. Yes. For now, you might be looking, oh, this guy is normal. But when you see me tomorrow on Arise News TV hmm. by 10 a.m., what, what just happened is that access and yes, before we forget, and you know, you know, these things that you know, we said we're going to talk about it yeah. is um, knowing that there's no such thing as being delayed. Mm. There's no delay. They are not delayed. It's just it's an appointed time. Mm-hmm. So what I'm talking about is having that appointed time. So we look like we are we are we are together. We look at like, oh, this guy. Ah, we still spoke yesterday. When you see me tomorrow on the news, if you oh, this is the guy. I, I spoke yesterday with President. Oh my God! Wow. Now, what do you think automatically happened? Hmm. By the time I see me next, you almost want to. Yes, so want to, you want to somebody who was with the president. Yes, somebody was with the president. So the fact that we are to or we be together does not mean you can't be great. But it's just that there is an appointed time. You are not delayed. You are not delayed. You are not delayed. You are not delayed. It's just. It's just. There is time, like that. You are, it's just your appointed time. There's a building time. up. Yes, you are being built up. Exactly. This is an appointed time for that. So, like, mm-hmm. I just feel it's very, very important to just cheat that thing. because some of us might feel, oh, oh, be, oh, God, we are delayed. You know, you know, some of us have been praying for a particular thing for a long time. Yeah. Ah, me myself, I have, I have one very, very. I've been praying for. Is that where I am for? For where, where I'm supposed to be? I've been praying for you, like for you. So when. Is that me now? You know, that time I felt like um, I was being denied. Ah, this process is taking too long. But I was trying to let you know that calm down, calm down. It's going to be your time. And I think it, this is a good time, you know, to, yeah. to say a word of prayer for yeah. everybody that might be um, mm. be in that space yes. where yes. they feel tired, yes. fatigued, feel like oh they are yes. being delayed. Yes. You know, I just want us to pray over them and yeah. declare over them that their faith is renewed. Yeah. Their faith is strengthened. Their resolve is yeah. strengthened in yeah. the name of Jesus. Yeah. They are able to stay on the word that they have received, yeah. on the prophecies that has gone ahead. They are not. They are not um, uh, distracted. Yeah. Nothing around them would distract them as long yeah. as they have heard the word. That in this season, over every member of the franchise church, over everyone that that, that the, this word has been declared over, that it's a leap season for yeah. you. I pray and I decree and declare over you in the name of Jesus Amen. that your resolve is strengthened. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your faith is renewed. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus, you are not Amen. discouraged. In the name of Jesus, nothing Amen. moves you. You are rooted firm to the ground Amen. on the word that has been spoken for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. it is indeed your leaf season and Amen. so shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Lord. even though it doesn't look like it, even if it doesn't look like it right now, but because the word has gone ahead, I decree and I declare over you that it, you will see it. You are able to wait. Amen. You will not stagger Amen. in the name of Jesus, O Lord. You will tarry. Amen. You will wait Amen. in the name of Jesus, O Lord, till you see it happen Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And when, you, when, when it's time for that miracle, when it's time for that blessing, for that shifting, for that open door, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, you will leap with joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus, O Lord. You know, one of the examples that Pastor used, we're still praying. One of the past, examples Pastor used is um, Elizabeth. When um, yes. when she met with um, um, Mary, she, you know, she, the she, child yeah, yeah, leaped yeah, for joy. And I, con- and I decree yeah. and declare again over you in the name of Jesus, O Lord. That promise in the name of Jesus. That is th- that those things that God has embedded in you, that thing that 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 instruction that God has given to you, that vision, that project, mm. that idea. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, the word of faith that is being preached in the name of Jesus, it resonates with you right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, and it leaps for joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, the idea comes back to mind. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I know you've given up on it. I know you have. You have pushed it aside for a bit. But right now, I decree and declare that the word of God that is coming through through the franchise church, that is coming, that will be coming in this season, I decree and declare that your faith is your faith is built up Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. O Lord. And your faith is renewed Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. O Lord. You will hold firm unto the word that has been spoken Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are not distracted. Yes. It is, you are leaping for joy. Amen. You are leaping for joy Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I, I just I just wanted to, to pray you. over that. Um, yeah. I mean, so it's 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 been amazing. It's been amazing. One of the things that you know, 
pastor talked about that I said I wanted to also share about is the fact that um, we need to also understand that God sees us. And I think you started sharing something about that in between. The way God sees us, is yeah. we should we should try as much as possible to to yes, to marry it. Yeah. Um, the way God sees us with our confession, yes, yes. you must hold fast unto what, unto yes, our confession, yeah. unto the word that has been spoken to us, and make sure that we marry it. If God is saying that it is your lip season, you cannot be saying anything yes, contrary. contrary to that. Do you understand? Philmon yeah. one six, it says that that the communication of our faith is effective. We do what yeah. I'm paraphrasing. We acknowledge every good thing. So you dec- declare over yourself, it is my lip season. Do you understand? It is my season of leaping. It is my season of, of experiencing tremendous progress. Extraordinary doors are open to me. Doors that have been shut, they are open to me. So you must marry it. You must marry that word that has been spoken over you. You must make sure. Do you understand? You must see yourself the way God sees you. Do you understand? Yeah. You know, Pastor went on to share how that one of the major reasons that is is because, you know, um, that's one of the things that we lost in Adam. Yeah. Although if we gained it back um, through, Christ. through Christ, as we are joint heirs now with Christ, yeah. but it's difficult, it's difficult for an average to believer accept to accept it now yes. because it is not what you've been used to. to. But guess what? The only way to marry it, the only way to believe it is by saying yeah. it. To exercise it. To, to keep saying yes. it, you know, to const- constantly yeah. say say the words that has been spoken. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. You cannot, it's not to say it once, right? And it's impo- and it's, it's beautiful to see that the Bible says, faith comes by what? Yeah. And hearing again. Do you understand? It's not just once, you know? So yeah. it's, it's, it's just amazing to, to, to point out. And I pray that in this season, our words yeah. um, is is consistent with the word of God that has been spoken over us yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Um, I pray for everyone that has listened to us um, up until this time that in the name of Jesus Amen. you are leaping for joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. you are leaping for joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. your words your words in this season they are blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. your words are true. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, they are true to Scripture. Amen. In the name of Jesus, they are, tr- they are true to the Word of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, you are not speaking contrary to what God is saying. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It's Amen. been such an amazing time, yeah. um, and I trust that um, um, just like what the aim of this of, of this um, conversation about Sunday service is to build faith. You know, like we have said, faith comes by hearing yeah. and hearing again, so that you hear again yes. what has been said. Yeah. So I believe that um, that has happened over you. Um, I trust that you've been built up, and I and I and I expect miracles moving yeah. forward. Yeah. Um, we look forward to testimonies. The, um, the month of April, I believe that maybe towards the end of the year, we will yeah. have time to give testimonies. Testimonies, yeah, and I true. and I pray that every one of us will be yeah. dying to give one. Yeah. You know, we'll be on the queue. Um, <laughs> Promise wants to share a testimony. Tommy wants to share a testimony. Yeah. Every one of us, yeah. Didi wants to share a testimony. Every one of us, everybody, even our members abroad. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yeah. Sharon, Rachel, they are all calling. In fact, we'd have to set up a Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Thing, you know, <laughs> to, to give testimony. Yeah. So shall it be for every one of us yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Um, just what do you want to round off service? All right. I, I'm sure, isn't I? I'm sure we've, we've been blessed by you know, the things that have been said, you know, concerning the word of God. To Hallelujah. Us. And uh, it is important that we um, we give, because like we say in franchise, it's not about the money. It's not we without. Can't do without it. Do you understand? Amen. And um, so the, uh, what's it called? The account details will be displayed, you know, down here, so that we can give our offerings, you know, and I'm sure that we'll be blessed as we do so. And um, also we have our, you know, Sunday service, you know, at um, the venue BWC Hotel 1228B, Correct. Amadou Bello Way, yep. VI Lagos. And, um, you know, service starts by 10 a.m. We would love to see you there, you know, so that we can, you know, continue and hear the things that have been said. Like we said, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. And I'm sure that, you know, you'll be blessed. We look forward to seeing you. In, and uh, we pray that the Lord bless and keep you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Also, um, um, I expect, you know, like Pastor would always tell us, yeah. right? 
if you're hearing well, you know, bring people. Yeah. If you're yeah, blessed yeah. somewhere, bring, bring people. people. Yeah. Bring your friends yeah. and family. Yeah. Let them, you know, let them come and participate in this world. Let yeah. them also leap. Yes. Let them so leap. It shouldn't be only you who is leaping for joy. Yeah, let yeah. every one of them as well, yeah. you know, come and participate and, yeah. you know, see what God is doing yeah. at the franchise church. Yeah. If you, if they are unable to make it, you have people outside the country, wherever, you can always share the link, you know, the YouTube link and they can watch us on YouTube every Sunday. We look yeah. forward to seeing you on Sunday. And um, I also like to, before we close, thank pastor for the privilege yeah. um, to be sharing the the word and a review of service yeah. um, to us today. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much, pastor. Thank you so much. Um, we, we revere you, we honor yeah. you and we celebrate you always. Thank you for feeding us. Yeah. It is out of the abundance that you've fed us that we're able to share. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much. It's been an amazing time with yeah. you, Joshua. Thank you so much. God bless you. you so See you guys. See you Sunday. Bye. Bye.